the coveted, the one and only R7. Oh boy, am I excited to ride this bike because it's got the same engine as Spicy Boy. <laughs> as Spicy Boy, my MT-07. And um, so I want to see what is the MT-07 engine if it was a sport bike. And that's exactly, oh, it's heavy, heavier. That's what it is. It has been a while since I've ridden a sport bike. Wow. You know what? This bike is so low to the ground. I am so happy. <gasps> Yo! I'm so happy. <gasps> wow. It's so nice. All right, let's get going. I'm literally already in love. Oh my god, the fact that I can put dude, I can touch I can touch more ground on this R7 that I couldn't that I could on my like Ninja 250. Oh, oh my god, this is so refreshing. This is so refreshing. I love this. You guys, I think I can already tell I'm gonna have such a good time demoing this bike. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Why am I so excited? I'm so excited because it's so low to the ground <laughs> and I can pretty much flat foot on this side. I'm 5'4 and I can flat foot the R7. That's wild. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I can't even describe how happy I am right now. Where are my turn signals so I can, okay, got it. All right, got it, gotta focus. Wow, you got, I mean, okay, I cannot flat foot this bike, but I have a good portion of my foot basically on the ground. Oh, this makes me so happy. Wow, the R7 is wow. That's all I can say, and I've only ridden it like 500 meters so far. I feel like, should I be this impressed? Am I allowed to be this impressed? Like, <laughs> I think I'm just overly excited about how like nice I can, this is, oh my God. Is this the sport bike designed for women? Is that, oh, that's what it feels like. It feels like they just made this one for the ladies. They're like, I, yeah, let's lower this one. I haven't been this excited to <laughs> be on a sport bike since I bought the Ninja 250, which was my first motorcycle. I'm so happy. I don't even know, do I have modes on this thing? It doesn't seem like I do. All right, let's put that visor down. Oh my God, I feel like such a badass on this thing. <gasps> okay, well, <laughs> if I get a sport bike, it's gonna be the R7. Ooh, <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta focus. I gotta tell you guys uh, where I'm coming from again. So I started off knowing nothing about motorcycles, uh, got a Ninja 250, rode it for like five years pretty much, and then um, got an MT-07 Spicy Boy, who has like a track-ready setup. In the meantime, I also rode an R1, FZ1, uh, like yeah, sport bikes don't scare me, and that's uh, kind of my history of, uh, of riding. All right, I'm, I'm glad he pinned it a little bit there. This thing is nice. Wow, I honestly think this is like, <laughs> this is such a nice bike. Like it's a, it's a gorgeous sport bike and it feels like, it does not feel like the R6. I don't know how to describe it. It feels a little, <laughs> is it lighter than an R6? Or am I dripping? Like it feel it feels light. It feels like when you're on it, the only time it felt heavy is when I uh, when I had to lift it to get on it. So I was talking to the rider coaches about uh, basically progressing from motorcycle to motorcycle through like your riding journey. And so if you're coming off of like an R3 or an MT-03 or a Ninja 250, something 250cc, what's your logical next step? Um, for a while, it was the R6. It's the R7 now, like, because the R6 is uh, higher. Like, 
I don't know. I've been on an R6, not obviously not a 2021 R6, but an older model R6. I think it was um, 2006 or 2008. And um, it was lowered even, and it was really uncomfortable. And it felt like I was also high off the ground. It wasn't a bad bike by any means. The R6s are nice bikes, but I think the R7 is a nicer bike. The power is nice on it. Like the power delivery doesn't feel sluggish, I think is what I'm trying to say. It feels smoother than the uh, R6. I really feel good on this bike. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> by the R7. Um, I didn't think that it was gonna be like that much different than the R6, but it's <laughs> honestly a bike all of its own. Oh my God, I'm so glad that this, uh, we got the, we've got the lady rider up ahead and she takes the corners uh, a little bit faster. So I'm happy about that. Oh my God, finally a sport bike I can recommend to short riders that isn't a 300, holy crap. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me. Like, <laughs> I could cry a little bit. Okay, not cry, but like, definitely shed a tear. <laughs> Oh my God, that feels so good in the corner. Oh yeah. I wanted to see what that bump would feel like going in the corner. Maybe I'm sitting lopsided on this thing because, or maybe one of my <laughs> legs is bigger than the other one or I'm pretty sure the rear sets are just not adjusted evenly. But one of my knees is hitting the plastic bit on the right side, but the uh, other knee is not. <laughs> In terms of like the aggressiveness of the seating position, this is, uh, it doesn't feel as aggressive as the R6, not gonna lie, it all definitely doesn't feel as aggressive as the R1. Um, and it feels slightly more aggressive than what I have on my MT-07, which is like a track ready MT-07. And it's definitely more aggressive than like the upright MT-07 that I was demo riding earlier. Yeah, oh my God, this is like insane. I've never, ever, ever been able to have this much foot down on a sport bike. It makes it, wow. Is this what it's like to have like confidence on a, insane, insane. You guys have no idea how, what, like, oh, it's so frustrating when you're short. This is, this is what tall people must feel like. This is what tall people must feel like. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Riding this has truly been like, I don't know a different experience altogether. I can't believe that. I'm still in shock at how low to the ground it is. Short riders rejoice. We have a sport bike meant for us now. That's not a 300cc sport bike. <laughs> Yamaha, thank you. <laughs> all, that's all I gotta say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate this bike so much and I honestly, <laughs> I know exactly what sport bike I want if I'm gonna get one now. Oh my God, why couldn't we have had this like bike years ago? I mean, better late than never, better late than never, but wow. You know what's funny? I haven't watched any uh, any rider reviews at all on the R7. Like I know there's art, like Chase has one, Yami Noob has one, like a bunch of people have already put out first ride reviews on this bike. And I honestly like didn't think I was gonna be interested, so I watched none of them. And I was like, I eh, don't really care. Um, and then when I got here, I was like, you know, all right, let's just throw a leg over the R7 and see, see what it can do. And wow, am I glad that I did because I would have been missing out on <laughs> one hell of an opportunity. I don't know what the other guys said, about this bike. Like I said, I didn't watch any of the reviews, so I'm coming at this like with, I'm a blank canvas for experiencing this bike. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> like I'd like to take it out and like see what it's like at highway speeds, uh, but obviously a little bit harder to do that on a demo ride, but who knows, maybe I'll find somebody someday that will let me borrow their R7 so I can take it at a nice and happy 70 miles an hour somewhere on the highway. So, so happy that I test rode this bike. This is great. I think this is hands down the coolest sport bike.
<laughs> that I've ridden so far. I'd give it like seven out of 10 on comfort. Usability for short riders, like 10 out of 10. If Yamaha had like an ideal ride review and they're not paying me to say this, <laughs> I feel like this is, this is the reaction they'd want from like everybody that rides their bikes. Just, wow, why didn't you come out with this bike way sooner because this is amazing. I'm so impressed. It's actually ridiculous. All right, there we go. That's the end of the first ride impression of the 2021 Yamaha R7. Thanks for coming along with me, guys. I am truly impressed by this bike. Nine grand, well spent. I love it. Great job, Yamaha.